Let us say Psalms 18 verse 2 together. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I will trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Hey, welcome back. Are you ready for more Bible questions? Great, I have some for you. Let's talk about Moses and see how well you know the life of Moses. Moses' family, what tribe did it belong to? Did you say Levi? If so, you're right. Moses' family belonged to the tribe of Levi. Or what about his father? What was the name of Moses' father? That's exactly right. Amram. Amram was the name of uh, Moses' father. Now, what about his mother? Have you learned the name of Moses' mother yet? Exactly. Jochebed. So Moses' mother was Jochebed and his father was Amram. What about his brother and sister? Moses had a brother and had a sister. What was the name of the brother? That's exactly right. Aaron. All right, what about his sister? Do you remember the name of Moses' sister? Perfect. Miriam. That's exactly right. So you have Miriam as a sister and Aaron as the brother. Now let's make it a little bit more difficult. As Moses grows up, he gets married. Do you remember the name of the lady who Moses married, who was his wife? Exactly. Zipporah. So Moses' wife's name was Zipporah. Moses and Zipporah had a son. Do you remember what the name of their son was? Go ahead and ask your parents. This one's kind of hard. That's right. Gershom. Gershom was the name of Moses and Zipporah's son. So you do know information about Moses. Well, let's move on. I have a lot more questions for you. Let's now talk about Moses at about the time he was born. Moses' mother hid him for three months in the house. But as he got older, she was no longer able to hide him. So she built him something. She made something to put the baby in so that she could put him in the river. What was it that Moses' mother made for baby Moses? That's exactly right, a basket. And she prepared that basket so that she could put Moses in the basket and put the basket in the water. Now, when she did that, who watched over Moses as he floated on the water? That's right. If you said Miriam, that's exactly right. Miriam watched from afar. So Moses in the basket floats on the water, and then someone finds the basket in the baby and retrieves him from the water. Who takes the basket and the baby from the water? Do you remember? Perfect. Pharaoh's daughter. That's exactly right. The daughter of Pharaoh found Moses in the basket and brought him out of the water. Now, here's the next question for you, though. Who gave baby Moses the name Moses? Do you remember who did it? That's right. Same answer as before. Pharaoh's daughter. Now, here's a bonus question for you. And you may have to ask your parents. Let's see if they really know it. Why did Pharaoh's daughter name the baby Moses? Do you remember? That's exactly right. Because I drew him out of water, is what she said. Boy, you're doing a good job. You know a lot about Moses. But let's jump forward a little bit in time. Moses lives in Pharaoh's household until a certain age. And at this age, he flees the land of Egypt and goes to the land of Midian. Do you remember how old he was when he left Egypt to go to Midian? That's right, 40 years old. Now, he stays in the land of Midian for how many years? Do you remember this? That's right, another 40 years. And by the way, do you remember how long Moses lived after the Lord sent him back to the land of Egypt? Another 40 years. That's right. Moses was 40 years old when he left Egypt to go to Midian. He was 80 years old when God called him from the land of Midian to go back to Egypt. And he was 120 years old when he died. 
Now, when Moses was in Midian, God talked to Moses. Do you remember how God talked to Moses? It was through um, a burning, a burning what? Bush. That's exactly right. God talked to Moses through a burning bush. Boy, you're doing an outstanding job. You know a lot about Moses. There was one more question, something that I forgot to ask you, and I want to see how well you know it. Real quick. It's a hard one. When Moses was approached the burning bush, God told him to take off something. Do you remember what God told Moses to take off? That's right, his sandals. Now, do you remember why God mo told Moses to take off his sandals? That's right. The ground that Moses was standing on was holy ground. You know, I am just so impressed. You're doing such a great job with your knowledge of Bible facts. I know it makes your Bible class teachers happy. It makes your parents happy because they're working with you, teaching you these Bible facts, and you're remembering them. But it also makes God happy. I'll tell you what, that's all for now. But come back next time as we consider more facts of the Word of God. Have a good day.